and some guy came up to me and said, um, oh, you're a Christian. You know, through my religion, I'm considered a Christian. I said, yes. He said, well, if you're a Christian, can you give me some money? Yeah, yeah. And But I gave him some money, but then now I get, because each time, you know, everybody, when you're in a religion, you got to learn more about your religion. So now I got the now I got more knowledge about my religion. I never heard any type of religion that it costs money to to serve for God. Oh you know? well, see, do, do you not take the Bible? <laughs> yeah, I read the Bible. So what about, what, the about in, Bible. what about in Matthew? I think it's chapter five where Jesus tells you to sell all your belongings and give the money to the poor. <laughs> right, that got nothing to do about scheming though. It's, it's all about giving though. It's, it's about giving through your heart. You got to give through your heart though. No, he says sell all of your belongings and give the money to the poor. That's not giving to your heart. You know what? When people read the Bible, they read one thing, but they don't can't interpret it. Because when you read it, you need somebody there to interpret it for you. So, you so where it says that Jesus died for my sins, do I interpret that in some other way? Some people can talk about that. Because if it's been if it's been I read the Bible, I didn't understand it. Some things in life... You're going to see things happen to you in life, and then you don't understand it. So like, if, example, if you read the Bible can't. and you don't understand it, why do you believe, and why do you think you're fine interpreting it in some other way? No, because because just because you're going to read something, you're not going to understand it right on top. Some people can't, some people can't. I agree, that's and the, you know what happens that's when... The reason, you know that's, what? The reason, that's the reason I go to church, or I get people that have been studying the Bible for years and years, and that you can't interpret it. And okay. At the same time, it's all about faith, though. So I've been so, studying the Bible for years and years. Are you going to listen to me when I, I mean, tell you? No, because no, really. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you know what? It's a lot of things I never seen before, but I know it exists because I got faith in it. I never seen Jupiter. I never seen Jupiter in my life, but I know it's there because I have faith that Jupiter is there. No, you, you don't have faith. You're you're relying on. Uh, evidence that actually exists, the mere fact that you haven't seen well, it. How do you know you're on Earth? You're on the planet Earth. I, I know I'm on the planet Earth because well, that's what we labeled it. But how do you know? You what do you mean, how Mars. do I know? You could be on Mars. You could be on Venus. No, I, I couldn't be on Mars or Venus. <laughs> how do you know? <laughs> because I'm on Earth. How do you know? You because know we've agreed, we've to, call agreed it to call the planet we're sitting <laughs> on Earth. Earth. call the other one Venus and the on other one Mars. But you're still not explaining it to me. You're not showing no evidence that you're on Earth. No, so no, no. It's not, a, it's not an evidence thing. Whatever planet this is, it's not like it was intrinsic. How do you know you're on a planet? Okay, that's a different Okay, story. how do I know I'm on a planet? How do you know where you're at right now? How do you know you're on Earth right now? You could be we on have Jupiter. have our senses? Be on Saturn. In, in no, I couldn't be on Jupiter you, or Saturn. Do you know there's other planets out there? I'm sorry? Do you know there's other planets out there? I do know that there's other I planets out there. Do you know that they that the ones in our system, solar system don't support life? But how do you know? Because, well, how do I know? How because you know? that's what the experts have told me, and I know that if I oh, go so out... Oh, people telling you, though, No, right? and if you'd let me finish, I know that anybody who can go out and review the evidence can come out to determine it themselves. Because when we do, like, for example, spectral photography of Venus, we can determine what the atmosphere is made of. It's called science. We've sent and just because I don't know everything about every one of the planets doesn't mean that I don't have reasonably good evidence. And you believe you on Earth because you have faith that you on no, Earth. No, I don't have faith that I'm on Earth. I believe that I'm on a planet because that's what I experience. And I believe that I'm on Earth because we've agreed to label this planet Earth. It did not uh, form with an intrinsic label of Earth. Earth is what we call it. But of your faith, you believe that you on Earth. No, I don't have faith. I have a... No. I don't like, have faith in anything. Any, okay, but if, if, if atheists come out and ain't no God, then why they scared? Why they get upset of people are spreading the word of God? Okay, if first of all, it, first of all, atheists don't say there is no God. We just simply say that we don't believe in a God because the God claim has not been demonstrated to be true based on evidence or reason. Secondly, well, we're uh, second, atheists, secondly, atheists. secondly, we're not afraid. I'm not afraid. I was a Christian for 20 some odd years. I was trying to be a preacher. Uh, I'm not afraid. I didn't get mad at a God. I didn't, I'm not afraid of a God. I simply don't believe because there's not evidence to support the claim. If I keep saying evidence, evidence, evidence. Yes. There's some things in life I haven't seen, but I, have, but I believe. When did I, when did I say see? 
when, when did evidence become equivalent to what you can see? There are plenty you know, of things that are evidence that says, aren't... It also says in the Bible, Jesus said in the Bible, pray to your God that his son seen. So Sorry? Believe it. Sorry? Jesus said, Jesus said in the Bible, he said, you pray to your father who is unseen. So you believe it or you don't believe it. Right. I, don't, and I don't, don't believe it. You know. And so I don't believe it. And the atheist to me is two sides. You believe it's a God or you believe it's no God. So if an atheist, if, one, if we got three people and you got an atheist and a person that do believe in God, that person going to ask each person, well, atheist, if you believe it's no God, then you show me something. No God. Oh, so so person, so what you're saying is that it, you're justified in believing that a God exists until somebody can prove that he doesn't. What? So yeah, do you? So you if, you that's, if that's if that's if that's the case, if that's the case, then why don't you also believe in Muhammad, Zeus, and and the other gods? I believe it was a god named Muhammad. You believe there was a I, god named Muhammad? Muhammad never was a god. Muhammad was. A Oh, okay, you're correct. I, I apologize. I got that wrong. What about uh, Zeus or uh, uh, Ra? Or Did you, you don't believe in those gods, Addis? That's right. They never wrote. They never told anything about Ra, though. They didn't say Ra. You don't Any, believe in those other that gods, do you? That doesn't, that doesn't matter, though. Aces had never shown you nothing. I no, that's not the point. I'm saying you don't believe it. Can I please? Can you pause for God? Can you stop? No, the point is you're done. <clears throat> the point is, you, what you were, you were implying a second ago, is that you're justified in your belief until somebody can prove that there's no God. That's what you're saying when you say, atheists can't show me that there's no God. There's plenty of things I believe in that I haven't seen. Well, guess what? Um, you're making a special case exemption for the God that you accept. It, f feel free to call back in next so week. A believer, we're all, well, hang on, we're almost out of time. Feel free to call back in next week or email tv at atheist-community.org and let me know exactly what it is you believe and why. You keep talking about you don't understand this, and yet when I ask you why you don't believe in these other God claims as, as well, you have no answer. I can tell you what your answer is. It's because you don't have any evidence for them. Nobody's presented with you with a reason to believe them. You're making a special case exemption for the God that you believe in. It's picking and choosing. It's it's irrational. You don't have any more reason to believe in your God than you than than anybody else has to believe in the other ones. Yet you disregard them. Why? Yeah, I was wondering uh, why is it so hard for y'all to believe there's no God. Well, some evidence would be useful to believe there is a God. You mean? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, like you know, okay, we're on this earth, right? As and, far uh, as I can tell, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, our position is that is very simple. Until there is sufficient evidence to believe something, you should not believe. Well, well, I mean, uh, look at this. I mean, you look at the earth from outer space. How about there, the there, trees? There's nothing that's really holding it up. So I mean, you know, and we are only it, it's only it's a gravitational planet. balance. We're the only planet in the universe that has life. You that we know of. Yes. Okay. On, you know. <laughs> Do you? Okay. And wait. Wait a minute. Check this out. Back you got up. Different Stop. races. You got blacks, whites, Japanese, Mexicans. Uh -huh. I mean, you're the and different species I mean, too. So somebody got a. Somebody was in charge of this. I mean, we're like ants, and <laughs> God is looking down on us, right? Hey, you. you you've you seen say, God? You, okay. You say. Um, Russell, stop him. No God, but there is a God. <laughs> And my okay. prayer for can you, you is... Can you back up for a second? Can we go back to the first thing you said? You, You're on hold. I will give you a minute to realize that. Hello. <laughs> um, the first thing you said was that there's nothing holding the Earth up. Um, you, you realize how gravity works, right? Wait, what line were we on? Two? Hello? Are you still there? Hello? The show? Uh, Hello? I think it was three. Oh. Pause it. Pause it. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. My phone is breaking up. Okay. Sorry, I had to put you on hold for a second so we could go back to the first thing you were talking about. Yeah, you don't get to, to, to make 500 points before we respond. The, right. You first know. of all, you said there's nothing holding the Earth up. Do you get how gravity works? Yes, I understand that. Okay, you, you understand things don't get held up in space. The only thing that defines whether something is up is if it's being pulled towards a very massive object, so there's nothing to hold it up from, okay? There is no up in space. Have I right. lost you? 
No. Go, so, keep going. so the Earth is orbiting around the Sun, and there's right. there's an exact equal pull between the Sun's gravity pulling it in and the Earth uh, in its centrifugal force pulling it out, and so that's what's holding up uh, the Earth. So it's very easily explained by by See, Newtonian gravity. If if Newtonian I could make no, if I could make this a broader point here, about knowing this, why can't we could create one ourselves, the universe? You because understand? because sentient beings do not create stuff like that. Oh, That's, who don't create things like that? Sen sentient beings. There isn't any indication that those kinds of things get created by intelligence. In order to establish that that sort of thing could happen, you would have to first demonstrate, I mean, you're going about this backwards, you would have to first demonstrate that there is this gigantic, all-encompassing mind that can do something like create universes, well, and I then you, you could give it before crap. with your science project, didn't you? But God did the real thing, huh? But <laughs> that's you your claim. Yeah, that's what you're saying. But you have no reason. Uh, there's to back no evidence that up. for that. <laughs> man, look, but anyway, you know, like it's, it, sounds, it sounds like a good story, you know, <clears throat> you know. But that's all it is. Well, hey, that's what you believe. But I mean, you know, I'm not mad at you guys, but I'm gonna I'm pray for you because uh, one day you will get to see God. We all will get to see Him. Okay. And well, I will sacrifice and, uh, a goat for you. Thanks for calling. Hello, I am from the Austin Stone. I'm sure you know the church. Okay. And um, I welcome you to join it. So we've got a great church, and uh, we're pretty much by the book. And uh, I've helped I've helped many lost souls uh, find their way, uh, so to speak. Yeah. Well, we're not lost. Don't have a soul. Wait, is this just a call <laughs> to advertise your church? Well, uh, I, I just wanted to start off by um, welcoming you to join, if you want. Well, it thank sounds you. like you obviously don't belong to one now, do you? No, you're right. You're right. We don't. But thank and, you for the but, invite. But you did one time, didn't you? I did. Yes. I did as well. So you didn't uh, feel any warmth when you sang the hymns or listened to sermons or anything? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. The, but that has nothing to do with whether um, it, 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 the, I came the theology to the conclusion is true that or not. feelings are not God. Yeah. So why exactly did you quit? Well, I quit because I did a lot of research into how the Bible came to exist and also into church history, how the church came to exist. And when I realized that, in my view, I couldn't find anything to substantiate that there was a hand of God involved, um, I began to question the authority of the church and of the Bible. And at that point, I stopped being a Christian, but I maintained theism for about another 10 years while I searched to try to find out then if, if the Bible is, not, is, is a man-made book and if the church... Um, founded yeah, upon, you know, down. Jesus is based on that Bible and it's a man-made institution, then what really is God and, and what would God want me to do? And so I, I aimed my search more toward, you know, just putting my life in the hands of whatever God was, that he would show me what, what was required, what I needed to do, just lead the way and I will follow, I'm searching. That went on for about 10 years until I came to the conclusion that um, if God is everything, uh, pretty much that's pantheism, so I thought I was a pantheist for about a week. I guess I was a pantheist for about a week. And then I said, this is kind of ridiculous. It's the universe. And so we have a name for it. And God and matter are not the same thing. Material existence is material existence. And if that's what I'm calling God, then I might as well just say I'm an atheist. Well, it, se it seems to me that uh, you can be a non-believer, but it's another step if you want to make a show and say you're an atheist and uh, start to say these bitter things. Uh, well, why? What have I said that's bitter? Yeah, why do you think we're bitter? Well, I mean, you, just the general tone I get from you is that you're actually mad or angry uh, with God. Gosh, uh, we just oh, my goodness. <laughs> is this a joke? Are you a Poe? Is this a Poe or are you for real? Are you, are you calling just to pull our legs or is this a serious call? But atheists cannot hate God. That is like, it's, it's, a, it's a nonsensical statement. A person who does not believe in something cannot hate the thing that they don't believe exists. Is this a serious call? This is a serious call. Uh, okay, so, so now wait a second. And, Do uh, you understand they... that an atheist does not believe a God exists? Do you understand that? <laughs> Do you understand are, that an yes. atheist does not believe a God exists? 
Of course. Okay, then, I, I, then I, I, do you I, I, understand? I, 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 okay, yeah. then do, I'm not accusing you of being stupid. I just want to make sure we're clear on our definitions. If you understand I don't believe a God exists, how does the statement, I'm angry at God, make any sense at all? Well, angry, angry about religion, then. About, Thank about you. About this so-called institution, you call it. It is an institution. I mean, even if, it, yeah. even if you believe God produced it, it's still an institution. Right? I mean, it's, it's institutionalized. Well, for you sure. said yourself that you felt some warmth when you went to church, that it just wasn't for you, but uh, why, why do you have to make a show and say these things then? Well, Did you not hear the example of the homeopathic uh, remedy? Did you hear what I just talked about? If not, I'm happy to repeat it. I mean, really, if you were on the phone and you were on hold and you weren't really hearing it, that's fine. I'm happy to give you the example again. But the point is, I said that there would even be people that don't believe in homeopathy that would write to you and say, well, some people are helped just because they feel better because of a, a placebo effect. So why are you bitching about homeopathy? But the fact is there's a lot of people harmed by homeopathy. Well, and I can't. Who does the church harm? Who does the church harm? Does, are you kidding? We have, first of all, Christians in Nigeria who are killing their own children because God said to not suffer witches to live, and they believe their children are witches. We have Christians in Uganda who are passing laws to, they wanted to execute homosexuals as a crime, but now they've made it life in prison. We have Christians in Africa that are missioning and telling people in AIDS-ridden nations not to wear condoms. We have Christians here in Austin, Texas, who don't think that a woman should have a right to choose, that are down on women's rights. We have Christians across the U.S. who are trying to trample the rights of, of gays, who are trying well, to, to keep look, them I find from... It, I personally find it a bit insulting for you to say that my church is bad people. They're good people at my church. We didn't say... Person. When did we I did, say we didn't that say... your church is bad people? You asked me to give you examples of the harm that religion causes, and I just listed some. You, you don't asked think, me to. You don't to. think there are atheists who do bad things? I could tell you about them. How you would that make didn't, you feel? Wait a minute. Well, you, well, no, no. you didn't ask me to provide examples of that. You asked me specifically for examples of the harm that religion causes. You asked for that, and I provided it. How is that offensive to you? Well, I didn't do anything wrong to anyone. In fact, I think I'm a pretty <laughs> no, good No person. one you didn't said you did. me to give you examples of wrong you've done. You asked me to give examples of harm that the church has caused, that religion has caused, and I provided those examples. How is that a problem? Well, Why should that offend you? Why did you even ask for examples if, if getting those examples was going to upset you? All right, then. Well, I, I just... Why, why don't you just have someone like Dr. Craig on your show? Why do you always beat up on, on random people who call in? Why did you have some actual... No, 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 no. Who am I beating no, up? Stop. We're not beating up anybody. I'm answering your question. And, and listen, there, there are however many... Um, religious shows on public access television and network television. And there's, there's this one atheist show here in Austin, Texas. Why should we give um, airtime to a professional apologist? Because they're actually educated on the subject. So, so you might actually have a challenge. I think you guys are too so, scared so wait to a minute. have the serious guys on. None of, none of us are professional atheists, whatever that would entail. <laughs> right. Okay. We're inviting people to call and tell us what they believe, why they believe it, and why we should believe it too. Right, but the other point, I, I want to just reiterate what Jen said earlier because I want to make sure you heard this. There are hours and hours and hours of TV and radio and indoctrinal institutions around the globe going nonstop promoting religious indoctrination and religious belief. And I really think it's ridiculous to get upset at a one-hour atheist amateur program that's put out weekly by an educational foundation here in Austin that's really just about putting out information on atheism. You think that one hour dedicated by a bunch of amateur atheist yeah, amateur. producers and, and cast and crew is, is really that, that intimidating to you? It's not intimidating. It certainly bothers people. It my, certainly bothers you. Church. It bothers you. Yeah, but I mean, look at all the airtime you've got. I mean, for one billboard we put up in Austin, how many religious billboards do I pass well, every no wonder, day? Well, no wonder we have more shows. We're about 99% uh, of the country, really. No, you're That's, not. There's, no, I think, no, no, what is no. it, like 80% religious, and um, yeah. not all of that is Christian. But it wouldn't matter. Yeah, I don't, it I don't doesn't care. Matter. The point is, you have all the airtime, all the radio time, and we have a one-hour pro You know what it reminds me of? There's a, there's a parable, actually, in your Bible that, that reminds me of this. It's, it's the one where they give the example of the guy who has, like, a hundred sheep, and his neighbor has, like, one little pet sheep, and the guy with the hundred sheep goes and steals his neighbor's sheep and slaughters it. 
And it's like, wow, you couldn't really deal with like the guy having one sheep? That was like freaked you out that your neighbor had one sheep was even though you had a hundred. And it's like that's kind of what you're doing. You've got like all the all the airtime, all the TV time, all the money, all the resources, all I mean, you've got people handing you ten percent of the tithe. I mean, you you've just got them coming in throwing their money at you. And yet this one hour show that's we have no budget. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> nothing. And and we should have Christians on to, to promote Christianity, really. Does that seem reasonable to you, honestly? If you want my honest opinion, I think you guys are scared to talk to, to, oh. talk to serious, serious people about this. You'd are you serious? You'd rather just beat up on, on some clueless guys and then... They call like, us, like the callers, the right? Are the clueless ones. No, no we, we invite people to call and defend their beliefs. Anybody can call us. And, and anybody can call us. We're on the show every Sunday. We let so, you call. I mean, it, feel free to, and we're, of, we're letting you talk about whatever you want. Yeah, any of these professional apologists are welcome to call at any time. Well, Consider I, an I, invitation. Just, I, I just want to say that I think a lot of the things you guys say are wrong. Well, so uh, about, I would expect that from the and I would just, For uh, example. For, pardon me? For example. Well, th uh, that... Uh, that there's no God, I guess, would be the start. If you're an atheist, then right off okay. the bat, um, we've got a bit of a problem. Um, well, yeah, well, well, but that's an easy problem to resolve because all it takes is a demonstration of a justification for your belief. Uh, I, you use really big words when you okay. talk. I'm sorry. It sounds a little... Okay. I just want you to demonstrate to me that your belief in the existence of a God is justified. Well... Well, why do I believe in God? Well, there's evidence for God everywhere you look. Like I mean, jazz. Just, just on the news lately, um, we had a, a national tragedy. Uh, uh, someone got shot through the brain. That's and they horrible. That. And, and wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. What? They our, got shot our, and, and they... Representative uh, Gifford right, got shot right, through the brain. Right. The doctor said it was a miracle she even lived. Um, she, got, she got shot through so the you brain don't, you and don't she think... is still alive and she looks like she will actually... Uh, get back to normal. What about the nine-year-old who died? Yeah. Well, uh, you just look on the news, and the president said she's up in heaven, and you want to tell us, you want to uh, jump in rain puddles, he said, and you want to tell people that it's just lights out when you, when so you die. So the president decides who's in heaven? Yeah. He said she's jumping in rain puddles up there. Did he see her? I mean, how does he know this? Well... You want to tell us that it's just game over when you're dying? No, you, I'm just asking how you We're know We're asking this. how what you know this. What is the justification this? for claiming she's in heaven? And, and even if she is in heaven, is that a justification for someone shooting a little girl? Is that part of the miracle? Was that a nine-year-old got killed? Uh, it, it's a miracle that, that Representative Gifford survived. Right. Uh, imagine you got shot in the head. So Do you the think you'd have a good plan, chance to live? Right. The plan was about killing yeah. several people so that God could show his beneficence in, in making somebody go through rehab after getting brain damaged from a bullet through the brain, that's your miracle. You don't think that's a miracle? If I think it's an extreme tragedy and that it's fortunate that not everybody was killed. But I don't think it's a miracle that somebody survived and is now having to go through rehab and she can barely, I don't even know if she can speak yet. Yeah, I mean, this is somebody's know, brain damage. She's even alive. <laughs> she's brain damage, and people are dead. And that's exactly what I would expect to happen at an event where somebody shoots into a crowd. I don't consider several people shot dead and one person brain damaged to be proof of God's miraculous powers.